All right, welcome back. So let's create our first PHP file. So let me open Notepad++ and as you can see, it doesn't, it didn't close our previous file. This is what Notepad++ does. It never closes the files until you close them yourself. All right, so what I want is to create this uh, HTML document that we can use uh, so we don't have to type this HTML every time. So I'll name this one um, HTML, HTML dot ht uh, let me save it as a php file good practice dot php okay there we go so this is the normal html and this is the file we'll be using for doing some cool stuff okay so let me save as so i don't replace this one as i don't replace this one so what we're learning here is uh let me name it as, this as one concatenation and output okay dot PHP. All right, so it's not very good uh, practice to leave spaces in here, so I'll use an underscore, I'll just name it 01 output and save for easy typing, or I could use a hyphen like that. All right, and save. Okay, so now it's a PHP file. So if I want to add some PHP, let me go to the body tag here. First of all, if I run this in uh, Firefox, let me run this in Firefox. Okay, as usual, we have to make sure that Apache is running. So we run Apache. And then let me go to the uh, part that I'm supposed to replace with local host to activate Apache. And there we are. So this is our page. You can see the home on top there. So the command that you need to learn most is called echo. Okay, now if I just type it like that, this is HTML, I need to specify the PHP tags like that and the closing PHP tag. So the browser, uh, the processor will ignore all this and just process that. So echo means print out or display this. Usually we, we put inverted commas and put some text in there. We can say hello world. Okay. Now to tell PHP that this is the end of a line, you have to put a semicolon at the end like that. Otherwise, uh, it will get confused. So put the semicolon there and let's try this thing. So let me refresh and you see the text, hello world, just like that. So if I want to print something else, I can echo something else as well. I can do this again and echo hello world too, like that. And it's going to do the same thing. But as you can see now, there's no space. It's not on another line as you, th you would think here because it's on two different lines here but there it's on one line. So as usual, if I want to do two, uh, I want to change this to two lines, I have to put a break tag that is uh, HTML. So I can mix HTML with PHP just like that. As long as it's, this HTML is not inside the PHP tags, we are good to go. So if I refresh, you see hello world two, and also you can connect uh, text together. So let me say, if I type hello here, and I type uh, somebody's name, what we see is that, okay, as we expect. But if I want to put a surname here, I could do it like this, okay? Or I could say echo and close this one and put a dot and do that. And I put a space here and an, and an extra space there. Now what the dot means, the dot means connect this part, this string and that string, that string together, this text and that text together. So let's see how that looks like. And if we do that, you see the name shows just fine there. So the dot is for connecting part A to part B. Okay, so that's all for now. And make sure the semicolon is there. Don't leave that out, every line. So that's how you output text in uh, PHP. But also, uh, you can also use this to output some actual numbers. Almost forgot. So let's say you say um, 10 plus 10, okay? Let's echo that. And as you can see, nothing shows up because I didn't use the echo. So it did the calculation, but it just threw away the value. So I have to say echo. That's the only way it's going to show. So there you see the result 20 down there. So this is how things can work in uh, PHP. You can't just type uh, text like echo the world or something like that. This is going to generate an error 
and this is what you see it says parse error or syntax error unexpected world so it didn't expect the world here so you always have to put strings which is text in inverted commas like that it can be single quotes or double quotes it doesn't actually matter both will work just fine all right so i'll see you in the next tutorial